Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Look at this workshop. My goodness gracious me, looks like a bomb's hit it. Right, now then, I've got to make the rest of the tines or prongs for this rake. Get that sorted today. The new lady's working well. First of all, I've got to tidy up. Then, I've got this fantastic case, this box here, that a friend of mine brought for me. And it, um, it's a job I've been putting off for a few weeks. But I'm going to get that sorted today because I've got a very specific job for that. Very specific indeed. And I've got to get some more ply. Some more 18 mil ply because I've got to make another of those chests but this time I'm making it for me and I'm making it a little bit bigger and I'm going to make it into a tool chest that's going to hold the bulk of my tools because they keep going missing they're not stealing them they use them and then they just don't put them back where they got them from you know prime example is is my chainsaw Jan came to borrow it the other day borrowed it from up here where is it i don't know oh, it's up there on top of the shelf but that's not where it goes that's not where it goes at all goes down there the reason i put it in one place is because the chain oil seeps out and it, it just leaves an oil stain on the uh, so i just keep the oil stain in the same place right to horse to horse saddle and boot it is it's the 4th of january and a bright sunny morning it's cool in the mornings with that sun's lovely and warm on the body and then it gets warm at uh, lunchtime now before i do anything else i just want to show you who remembers the cherry tomatoes I squoze out on top of the compost for my hanging tomato experiment <coughs> and here they are look at these rascals they're absolutely beautiful now they will go towards the sun the sun rises that way so they'll go towards the sun and then gravity will take over and they'll drop over there so that's when the experiment begins I'll pick up a passion fruit and um, away we go a very heavy dew on the ground this morning very heavy misty in the valley again and everything is quiet I've got a dozen and one jobs to do. I've been down and fed the fish and started the aquaponics. Got nice cabbage. Uh, not half bouncing on. Doing really well. And she's got some potatoes planted back there as well. So. It's grand, isn't it? Grand when you grow your own veg. There's nothing like it. There's, um, more tomatoes <coughs> planted out that she's purloined out of my box. So, logs of tomatoes. And my feet are wet now in my sandals with the dew in the grass. Right, I am going to crack on. Well, but it's a quite substantial box. Don said it was, um, or he thought it was, a Swedish medical army box. It's got a central shelf and it's got a lockable top. Now, what do I want it for? Well, I want it. So, my jerry cans, my fuel cans... Uh, locked away 
were my brothers-in-law can't get at them you know because they think nothing of coming up and uh, helping themselves so in the go the cans on goes the lid on goes the lock and they can keep the hands off my fuel that's a plan Stan so there we go fuel all locked up happy days no, more tidying we'll get in there a little bit what time is it yeah right it's bacon and egg time i'm going to have some more breakfast see you later bye bye for now